Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another volume problem using the shell method where the integral comes down to a substitution. Now it's worth pointing out in your volume formula here for the shell method, that factor of x, while it's often forgotten, so don't forget it, that factor of x is often used in your differential du when you use a substitution. And that makes all the difference here. Without that factor of x, you'd be left with an impossible integral. But with the factor of x, the integral is very straightforward. So let's get right to it. We have our region here, the graph of y equals e to the negative x squared, which is related to the normal distribution. And we're rotating that region beneath that graph down to the x-axis about the y-axis. All right, and if you do that, you get a solid that looks something like this. It's kind of bumped up in the middle and it's rotationally symmetric about the y-axis. All we need to do is take our upper boundary curve here for that region, y equals e to the negative x squared, and we're gonna be using that in the formula there with f of x as e to the negative x squared. So we just need to basically take this function and plug it in, and again, don't forget about that factor of x. So the setup is very straightforward we get our volume integral as an integral from zero to one. We have our factor of two pi x, and then we're multiplying that by f of x, which is e to the negative x squared here for this problem. All right, and what you should notice is the derivative of x squared gives you x to the first power. So if we choose our u involving x squared, the differential du will contain that factor of x. All right, so let's go ahead and choose as our substitution here. We're gonna go with u as negative x squared. Calculate your differential du, which here is gonna be negative two x dx. And since we are using a substitution with a definite integral, I always change or convert the limits using our substitution. So if we set that up, originally we have x limits from zero to one, and we're using our substitution u as negative x squared, and we just plug in our values for x. Plug in x as zero, you're gonna get u as zero. And if you now plug in x as one, you get u as negative one. All right, well, let's point out here with this integral, there's some factors here and we actually don't need to divide that factor of two. Let me just move the negative over since we're missing a negative up here. We'll rewrite this as negative du equals two x dx. And before we convert our pieces, let me just rearrange some factors here. I'm gonna take the factor of two, the factor of x, and put them next to multiplying dx. So let's write this as the integral from zero to one. We have a factor of pi times e to the negative x squared. And I'm pulling the factor of two and x because we have that in our differential at the end multiplying dx. So two x dx. And that is basically gonna come out to negative du from what we rewrote there. All right, now we should be able to easily convert this. Let's make use of all our substitutions here. I can bring the factor of pi out. We're converting from x to u. Your u limits go from zero to negative one. If that looks a little bit weird that you have a, um, a negative number in the upper limit, we'll deal with that a little bit later. All right, e to the negative x squared, that converts to e to the u. The negative was already part of our substitution. And just be careful here, don't lose that negative. 2x dx is negative du. All right, and I'm just gonna clean this up yet again. I don't like the fact that there's a negative and my limits seem to be a little bit weird. Usually you want the bigger number as your upper limit and the smaller number as the lower limit. We can use a property of integrals if I flip 
my limits of integration, I introduce a negative. And since we already have a negative there, when I flip this, that extra negative will cancel out. So I can rewrite this as the positive version. Again, we're flipping the limits, getting an extra negative to cancel that one. And our integral now goes from negative one to zero. We're flipping those limits. Everything else stays the same. We have e to the u times du. And that integral is now really simple. Your antiderivative is just e to the u, but we evaluate this using our converted u limits. Worth pointing out, once you convert your limits, you never have to back substitute your u in terms of x. So we'll evaluate this at u equals negative one, and then u equals zero, and if you plug these in, we get pi times e to the zero, and then minus pi times e to the negative one. All right, and at least one of those values is nice. e to the zero is one. You can factor pi out here, and you can write your final answer as pi times one minus e to the negative one. And if you want to be really fancy, you can rewrite e to the negative one as one over e. But that does it. This number here, this is the volume of this solid where we took a region and then rotated about the y-axis. Remember, functions of x rotated about the y-axis, that's your clue to apply the shell method. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.